England are moving on from the chapter that has Sam Allardyce as manager. His contract was terminated yesterday after allegations of trying to bend rules on player transfer came to light following investigations by the Telegraph newspaper. This is a City TV special on how and why Sam Allardyce has lost his job as England's latest manager. Probably you've heard the news and you're wondering what happened. Very simple. So the people at the Telegraph newspaper posed as undercover businessmen representing an imaginary Far East Asian firm. They contacted Sam Allardyce days after he had been given the job and they asked him if he could help them bend the rules on third party ownership in England. Well, that rule is outlawed. Back in 2008, the FA cut out the law that allowed third parties to own players. It followed the episode involving Javier Mascherano and Carlos Tevez when they both played for West Ham. Allardyce in that said investigation, which was recorded and we have him on audio and video, he said he could bend the rules and he could advise on how they could go around the law that would forbid them from owning a player via a third party uh, level. And they offered to pay him £400,000. He even offered to be an ambassador and was even discussing dates on which he could fly to Singapore, Hong Kong and all the nice places just to represent this company. Now the investigation came to light. Allardyce was called in yesterday at Wembley by the English FA chairman and the associates and the contract was ended mutually. But apart from the allegations of taking money and being an ambassador, Sam Allardyce was also recorded taking shots at his predecessor, Roy Hodgson. He was imitating the former manager's voice and said he didn't have the charisma to speak in public. He criticized Gary Neville's role with the English national team and branded the English FA's plan to redevelop Wembley as, quote, stupid. Imagine, all of these things were recorded. Clearly, Allardyce was not going to get the job now that these things came to light. I'm sure you're wondering what all this means for England and their national team and their football. Very simple. First of all, they need to bring in a new manager. Gareth Southgate will be handed the job at least for the next four games. He will handle the first two against Malta and then against Slovenia in the upcoming World Cup qualifiers. But what happens in the long term? England need to find a new manager and they need to do it very quickly. Eddie Howe, Steve Bruce and Alan Pardew have all been mentioned. Remember, Steve Bruce was interviewed for the job, but eventually went to his very good friend, Sam Allardyce, who now is jobless. So we see what happens in terms of England, but they must quickly find somebody to step in and handle the national team as they prepare to go to Russia 2018. In the long term, what it means for Sam Allardyce is that his reputation has been tainted. The man wanted the job for so long, he got it 67 days later, he loses it, in a very funny way, he admitted what he did was foolish and it is true what he did was very foolish. But we'll find out if he will get a job. Sunderland didn't want him to leave. Will they take him back and take David Moyes out of the picture now that Sunderland are struggling? Will other jobs be risking their reputation and will they be willing to hire some Allardyce? Nobody knows. But what is sure is that Allardyce will have to sit and wait for quite some time before his next coaching appointment comes along. So 67 days after Sam Allardyce got his dream job, he loses it in the most absurd of ways. The man had said 10 years ago that if he had an Italian name, he would be given the national team job. He's knocked and knocked and knocked. He finally had the door open, but he did not want to eat in the royal room. He decided to hang out at the back with the bad guys, and now he's jobless. <laughs>